Hi there, welcome back to Earthing Shiner. Today we got a portable LED projector which has the ability to project up to 170 inch screen. It also has the capability to directly connect to your mobile phone by using a standard USB cable. In doing so, able to mirror the image from your phone and at just 99 US dollar, let's check it out and see if this thing is really worth your money. So let's do a quick unboxing. Huh? We are greeted by the menu. Oh, wow. It has a quick startup guide. Uh, like it's Facebook, bounty card, as well as uh, welcome cards. Let's put all this aside. We have a standard power cable, remote control that looks like an Apple remote control, HDMI cable, and a composite video output, pretty much. And followed by the main unit. It's not too big, neither it's very small. Uh, the width is about my pump size. The tall of the unit is slightly longer than my pump. The thickness is... Uh, half about half of my pump i quite like the design itself it feels very very solid it looks much better uh, at when i'm looking at the unit itself comparing to its uh, product description page comparing to those photos so it looks so much better uh, especially the top you can see there's actually two design at the side where the lens is is actually very very shiny and also chiseled with a chiseled angle uh, the other so the other side of the surface are all matted white i really really like it Right at the bottom, we have two tuning uh, knobs, one for the keystone, the other one for the focus sync. We also have menu buttons over here at the top. At the front, we have uh, the lens, right, as well as the IR receiver. On the left, we have an exhaust fan for it to blow out the heat. We have an uh, audio output, composite video output, two USB port, one for one has the ability to charge your devices as well as the ability to read SD cards at the top also an HDMI input at the other side we just have a power input and nothing else at the back we have VJ input as well as the IR receiver at the bottom we have four rubber feet for it to sit securely or securely on the, on the flat surfaces we do also have speakers here as well as a little tripod stand for you to adjust the, the angle of the projection there you go the unit is already set up now it's projecting to uh, my white wall with a dimension of about 70 inch right now it's about 5 pm i've turned off all the lights as well as wind up the my curtain itself so it's barely it's quite dim in the room here so let's enjoy the display for now. I think it's not a full HD display although it's about 1080p but I think natively it's at most at about probably in the 640 or 720p range it's pretty clear as uh, just, uh, just but however do note that at the bottom of the screen it's a little bit blur no matter how much I try to fine tune its focusing ring it's still blur at the bottom there's no way for you to fix that so what I'll do next is I'll disconnect the Creative Sound Raw Speaker 2 and hear the sound coming from the unit itself. One thing I must say, the sound quality from the unit itself is pretty decent comparing to many other a micro or mini projector that I own from China. The sound is quite okay. Let's hear it again. Now 
Next, take a look at its uh, interface uh, and see what are the functions available. So now you're looking at its main interface. We have uh, movie, music, photo and text. Apparently these are the medias that you can read. I've tried reading on MP4 without a problem. Uh, you can obviously plug into your USB, SD card, select the source and also change its settings. So let's go into settings mode and see what are the options available. You can choose different picture mode. I suppose this is where you adjust the brightness, color, sharpness as well as contrast. We do also have a projection mode. Oh, okay, this is where you can flip its display either vertically or horizontally. Uh, we have the ability to adjust its color, aspect ratio, as well as the amount of noise reduction that you prefer. So, as you can see on the display itself, I've already plugged in the USB device and therefore it show, it's highlighted as green. When I unplug the USB device, it's not highlighted in green. So it's pretty cool to have the ability to tell what a device that is being connected in. Let me connect back the USB thumb drive and there you go, it turns green. So if you go to movie now, it shows C as the USB thumb drive and therefore from there you can navigate through its different folder. Let me try and select source. Let me try let me select source and and those are the available options. So you can choose from USB, AV, PC, RGB input, SD card streamer, as well as directly connected to phone. And this is something which I want to try. So the moment of truth. What? Trust. So on the phone itself, it's asking whether can I trust the device. I just press trust. And... Nothing. Ah, oh, it's working! <laughs> so, conclusion time. Let's talk about its positive. I like the design of all, it's very very sturdy and looks very premium. Uh, the, it's very, it, the price is, com is competitive price and at 9 US dollar I think it's quite affordable. The sound quality, especially uh, for a mini projector, is pretty decent. Uh, it lacks bass but it's loud enough. The ability to mirror your phone that by connecting just to the USB cable, it's good and it's really convenient and it works very well. How about its negative? The negative, uh, basically, its its image quality can be better, especially at the bottom part of the screen. It's really, really blurred out. Plus, it doesn't have the ability to play subtitle files, external SRT file. It's really, really convenient uh, without that function. So, all in all, I would recommend this if you are well aware of its limitation and your intention of buying this is to play in a thin room. I would like to make use of this opportunity to announce a giveaway. One lucky winner will walk away with this LED projector. How can you participate? You simply have to subscribe, like and comment in this video as well as to share this video on Facebook. Once this video reaches 100 likes, I will do a lucky draw and one lucky winner will walk away with this LED projector. This is Daniel signing out. Goodbye everyone!